today's video we will try to learn how we can log in into our this JK mentorship uh, steer portal and uh, how we will add the teachers and the students and also we will try to learn how to map students now first of all I have to tap on the Chrome browser doesn't in my phone okay and I will tap on this now I will try to type 103.48.51.235 colon double colon 8089 now when I type all this I will tap on go option now you see my dear friends here I have got URL it is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 103.48.51.235 I will tap on this very this URL okay now I have to sign in now the user ID and passwords have already been provided to all the HOIs now I have to enter here as an HOI so that I can add the teachers and the students of my school okay now I will tap on the sign in okay now I have got a user ID and password already typed and saved here I will tap on this very user ID and password it will automatically get added to it then I have to enter the captcha and I will tap on sign in Uh, this is my dashboard right and uh, i will tap on this very option this very option okay and i will uh, tap on teacher now i have got two options one is add and another is display now first of all i will tap on add option because i have to add a teacher right then i have to type the full name here I will set the password as this ages at the rate of 786 it can be anything of your choice then I will tap on this submit button right okay. now when I type this uh, tap on the submit button the teacher will get added to the uh, this portal right and one by one I will try to add all the teachers one thing that we have to remember that the mobile number I have kept at is uh, the username. So the uh, phone number of the teacher would be the username. The teachers that I have added are here, right? These are here, and these uh, these are the options available against these. Okay. Now I have added all the teachers. Now I have to add the students, and add, I will add them similarly uh, through the same procedure and process that was there uh, for the teachers now I have to tap on students and I will tap on add students okay. now you see the enrollment number has all uh, got created itself but remember I have I have selected the class as third and the first digit that is two zero it means the year of admission for class third the year of admission would be 2020 that's why 20 is there then there is U dice code 10 digit code 041 a serial number that is 004 the three last three digits that is the roll number uh, it, it is the fourth student that I have added that's why it is 004 now for C if I will change the class of the student to fifth let me check it it's fifth now you see the yes the username the first two digits have changed it to 18 that means the year of admission for a class 5 student would be 18 and I will tap I will set a password over here Alika at the rate of for example 4568 now I will tap on the submit and one by one I will type the details of all the students and submit then I will try to check the 
student display and in the display option i will get all the students that i have entered now you see these are the students now the question remains i have to map the students how to map the students i will tap on this very option and i will tap on teacher and i will tap on display right now you see there is a teacher uh, over here i will try to uh, map the students to him and against him there is an option phone number then map students i will tap on this map students option okay. i will get two boxes over here now you see here i it shows showing all 18 that means if i tap on this zero selected and arrow option i will get all the students over here that are present that i have typed that i have entered in this portal now i have to select the students i want to map to this very teacher for example i will select the students of the class first i will select all these students three four five six these are the six students of class and i will also add him add to him uh, the students of class second okay one two three four five six that means in total i have selected 12 students and i will add these to this very teacher and i will tap on this okay now 12 selected okay and i will tap on map student saved successfully my dear friends all these 12 students have been uh, assigned and have been mapped to the teacher i just uh, try to map to and now i will see whether these 12 students have been mapped to the teacher or not i will tap on this dashboard option and in the dashboard option i will scroll down now i have got the a list of the teachers and i try to map the students to this very teacher yes now you see he, here it shows 12 students have been assigned to the teacher and these have been mapped to him okay in the same way i can map another students that are left there to some other teacher like i will show you i will tap on this teacher i will tap on display now i will try to map rest of the students to this very this teacher and i will tap on map students now in map students again i have now six students available only because these were earlier 18 12 have already been assigned and mapped to some, some teacher to one teacher now i will select again this and i will select all these rest of the students six students and i will tap on ok i will tap on map students now these have been mapped now let me check it i will tap on dashboard i will try to see whether these six students stand mapped to the teacher i just try to or not yes these six students have been assigned to him you see here now my dear friends now there remains a question can i edit the student option yes i can edit for example i will tap on the students and i will tap on display right and now i there's a student alika shapir and against her there is an option edit i will tap on this edit option i can edit her name i can edit her gender parentage mother's name date of birth email gen, category class i cannot edit religion disability address is seasonal student other account number jk bank this bank name phone number uh, and password all these i can edit but i cannot edit the username of the student i cannot edit the class of the student this is very important i cannot edit these two options and now for example if i have to edit the student i have entered uh, him or her wrongly what will i do if there is another student that uh, still that is still to be added in the portal i can enter the name of that very student over here in place of alika shabi that way i can uh, add a student but if i have entered it wrongly and i have entered it twice in two classes uh, then i cannot delete the student then i have to inform the zdno and who will inform the dno and who will inform the uh, state coordinator then only it, the student can be deleted from there not from the a login user id of the hoi of the teacher and that's very important that is to be understood now this was all about this and uh, 
for example if i have to unmap a student from a teacher how can i do that i will again tap on this teacher option i will tap on display now i have got the uh, mapped students in this very teacher i will tap on this map students now you see uh, it's showing showing all 12 students that stand mapped to this very teacher i can just deselect them i can just unmap them from here now i will tap on this very option and uh, i will select for example uh, these first these class students of class first i have to unmap i will tap on this ok option and i will tap again on this map students now you see uh, these all these students have been all these six students have been unmapped from here and now it shows showing all six and above it shows showing all six that means these six students are now available uh, and can be mapped to any other teacher okay right so this is the procedure how to map students how to add teacher how to add students i hope you must have understood all this one more thing that's very important that we have to map 10 students to a teacher if there are uh, some seven students in one class and there are seven students in another class then the total uh, is 14 if for example for class one it is seven for class second it is seven that means the total students for class first and second are 14 now uh, my dear friends just map these all these 14 students to a single teacher because we cannot uh, separate four students and uh, assign uh, four students to another teacher and we cannot just categorize a class into two teachers we have to uh, map a full class to a single teacher and the score should remain at least 10 students should be added to a single teacher it may be 12 it may be 15 it may be 16 but we have to make sure that all the students of a single class get added to a single teacher and that's very important